How long ain't gonna make it with these shoes on? One of them, maybe. Let me go get my shoes back on. I'm like, all right. Stunts up. Yeah, it's good. I do. Do a little flashy. Yeah, I'm gonna get you some shoes. Let's go. Uh, oh. 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 Took off my Good uh, cardio. Okay. Uh oh, no, you kicked it, you go get it. No way, I can run back down there again. Now. I'm bigger than y'all, and I got a shirt on. A little more weight. <laughs> events begin to accelerate, it is time for those who are committed to the change and experience for humanity on this planet to seriously focus on the idea of the realization of the new paradigm. In order for it to manifest into a reality of experience, it must first become real in the minds of those who identify with this idea. <clears throat> it is rather like pulling the proverbial rabbit from the hair, from the hat. <laughs> The event as seen requires focused intent behind the scene and a great deal of practice <clears throat> in focusing on this desire in order for it to appear. The event itself is a manifestation of the intent that precedes it. What appears as a magical event to the observers involves instead focused practice and the intent to mystify and surprise. There is a direct correlation to the birthing of the planned new paradigm of experience. The new paradigm will arise out of the grassroots desire of humanity to end the current descent into slavery under what appears as complacency and ignorance of what is going on in the life of the average person is feeling that things are not quite right. Beneath that awareness is a cognition that is sending forth a signal calling for balance and harmony within the planetary experience. This psychic signal is the platform that provides for the creation of the new paradigm. It is upon this critical foundation that those who read and identify with these messages have permission to dream, imagine the framework 
that will begin manifesting into reality the desired new experiences. The key to survival of this focus lies in its lack of organization. There's nothing to infiltrate and nothing of substance that appears to support its existence, but exists it does. It exists in the mind of growing numbers of individuals and answers untold, uttered, and uttered and unuttered prayers to countless ideas of divine power that is believed to possess the ability to intervene. In truth, it is the manifestation of these prayers and the underlying desire for balance and harmony that is coming forth as the messages and the focusing of these through individual minds into the mass consciousness. This is then the answer to these prayers and desires. The divine intervention is manifesting through those who desire it. The invocation is made through thought and it's being answered in a like manner. Since thought is the impetus for all creation, the invocation and the answer are in the most powerful and yet subtle form. It's also the most defensible when it is firmly held and emotionally powered. No amount of subliminal influence can alter the emotionally held conviction that is focused upon a desired manifestation. Desire, firmly held, in mind with emotional knowingness that the possibility of its actuation is feasible, can and will manifest. Yeah. It matters only that the perception that is held by many is generally identifiable through statements of purpose. Those who are not actively involved within their own focus with or without a small group have now reached a quorum to allow the invocation of more help from outside sources. Meditations and prayers, simple thought requests are encouraged to be directed to request help to assist humanity to focus on a different experience as a solution rather than on the problematic situation that surrounds them. Greater awareness of the problems serve to promote an awakening from ignorance, but in no way provides for a solution to those pragmatic situations that are enumerated. Indeed, that which is hidden behind the problem and that invokes them is organized with intentions that are deeper and darker than can possibly be ascertained from the currently known situation. The hope for return to prior known experiences would in no way hold these dark intentions in check. It must be clearly understood that all hope must be focused towards the invocation of a new paradigm of experience. Yes. The past must be allowed to become the past. The future must be imbued with hope plans and dreams of harmony balance with the application of the basic laws of the universal experience. It is the shift into this tried and true method into manifestation that will provide the solution to mankind's dilemma. It is through focus on what is unknown and yet to be discovered that the present is let go and to become the past and that which future can offer is discovered. It is to focus on what is unknown and yet to be discovered that the present is let go to become the past. The present is let go to become the past. And that which the future can offer is discovered. What is unknown conjures up either excitement <clears throat> or fear. 
It's important that the ground crew build upon the emotion of excitement and anticipation in order to provide greater potential for manifesting the new paradigm into realized experience. That which begins as the nucleus of the intention will then draw to it what is necessary to bring about the maturation of the original idea and allow for the what might be compared to cellular growth and expansion of this idea into manifested reality. What begins as a small focus of intent then expands from within. It can be promoted further by help from without. The available help can offer protection which enables the natural expansion to continue rather than be contained by those who would prefer that this intentional focus be aborted or die in its infancy. It is these kind of help that it would be wise to invoke during prayer or meditation or focus on. It is help to help yourself, so to speak. It is request for help to open up the path of mankind before them so that it can be seen and understood as it is experienced into reality. <clears throat> it is request for help to open up the path of mankind before them so that it can be seen and understood as it is experienced into reality. That kind of help fixed with the law of galactic citizenship to be exchanged between its members, freely asked for and given. Help us to help ourselves. Yes. It invokes no indebtedness between members. It is the way of advancement in which all that can help, all that acts, but those must be willing to help themselves in the process cannot be done for them. The means of help is left to the helpers. Often generally worded requests for help are filled from a greater understanding that brings forth results undreamed of by those requesting it. Greater thought thinking is always available to answer requests formatted within the basic universal laws. Thus, requests including for the highest and best good of all concerned invokes this greater wisdom with extraordinary results guaranteed. Mm. Greater thought thinking is always available to answer requests formatted within the basic universal law. Thus, requests including for the highest and best good of all concerned invokes this greater wisdom with extraordinary results guaranteed. Gotta run that back one more thing. This means of help is left to the helpers for often generally worded requests for help are filled from a greater understanding that brings forth results undreamed of by those requesting it. Greater thought thinking is always available to answer requests formatted within a basic universal law. Thus, requests including for the highest and best good of all concerned invokes this greater wisdom with extraordinary results Guaranteed. It is hoped that those who identify with these messages and intentionally change their objective to bringing forth the new paradigm of experience for mankind on this planet will remember to hold this focus in the forefront of their attention for the highest and best good of all concerned. The principles contained are, of course, available for application within personal experience. It is strongly suggested that dedication toward the planetary whole is the basis upon the individual experience, its focus. 
to change only the individual experience will not change the planetary experience. However, changing the planetary experience is guaranteed to change the individual experience. Both can and may be coordinated by those who truly desire to take advantage of a time that is ripe with opportunity for rapid involvement. There is much to be understood. The choice involved is momentous for mankind as a whole and each individual that chooses to be consciously involved. Pray, think and act clearly that enough make the correct choices and purposeful application of focused intention that the highest good is manifested for all concerned. Period. To what or who this request is directed matters not. What is the highest and best good for both individuals and mankind is an unknown. Judgment withheld, allowed, the third universal law to wield its powerful influence. The coordinated action of the first three manifests the fourth, harmony and balance. The essence of the goal of the new paradigm humanity desires to experience all begins with the consideration of possibility, then choice. Choose carefully. Our great lesson on the lake. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got our swan and still down there coasting. Mm -hmm. mm, what he do? He with the people. Now they feed him. He knew he could get some food. He just keep on doing what he do. Come I'm around here. Around the strip, baby. And keep it up and somebody will feed me. I done did it this a million times. It always works. So I just keep doing it. These people is always come up. They always feed me. They play with me and then they give me something. Eventually it will go down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If they do give them some, everybody else gonna come get it too. They already see what's going on, so we got some help already. Come there, fly in from you. Don't be I'm knowing. Throwing you some good stuff. There they go. They is feeding them too. No. Oh, they oh. oh, were far away. But it's happening. Yeah. Gotta be able to really, really see that stuff, y'all. Just down. use your imagination. <laughs> It'll put you on point. Search. Got a jet ski, he's coming up, he's real. He's going fast, he's there. Jet ski, he's across the water. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Slow down, down for you, baby. So you can get a better view. This is what I do by the beach. I slow it down. Know somebody's watching. I am just Slide on back. I get real for you. Back yeah. up, baby. My last man walked from Selma to Alabama. He, he wasn't, wasn't tired. tired. <laughs> Damn. What you tired? Swine gonna feed him. He gonna eat till they stop feeding him. But of course. They come back with some more. He stay there. They can't day. feed me longer than I can eat. So how about I just eat till they finish feeding me? <laughs> and he ain't calling nobody either. So oh, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. Keep them out. Uh -oh. Other people call them. Yeah. He just I give it to you right on my hand now. When I get a little closer. Picture, Indy extra fly. But you know how to work. Feed them. Feed them. Oh, they coming up close. No fear. No fear going on here. Feed me. Feed me. You want some food for me? I'm not scared of you. I'll come and eat. I'll take it to your hands. Yeah. Uh oh, no. 
get on my yoni then. Just hug it. All right, hold on. Let me get the Can I swine? 